Hello, we are Team Boston and our product is Character Chat. So when your parents ask who you're texting, they'll be in for a big surprise. Sorry, usually some of my teams have connection issue. That would be. I think this is Vivian, right? Yeah. Vivian, yeah. you have connection issues. Okay. Would any one of you would like to take this over? Yeah, I can read it, but I just, <laughs> there's, there's like usually text, right? No, I can... It's on the Discord. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love this coordination. Okay. Yeah, I, I got it. Um, so we are creating an AI-powered interactive chatbot that simulates the conversational style of popular characters and celebrities. And this new platform will allow you to enjoy the company of your favorite figures from movies, television, and books outside of their normal mediums. And we hope to create a fun environment for users to converse with a variety of personalities and experience the scope of AI. So yeah, as we, I kind of said, we're trying to make, we want us to like be able to bring characters to life with um, like, like making them chat bots. And obviously you could do all sorts of things. You could do politicians or historical figures, but we really wanted to do some of our favorite fictional characters and celebrities. So here they are. Meet Gordon Ramsay, chef and TV personality. Talk to Gordon Ramsay for a major ego check. I'm holding up his hand and invites you to spend some time together. For a simple bit of sunshine to brighten your day, speak with the group. You'll be sure to know who he is by the end of it. Meet Michael Scott, and the world's best boss and regional manager of Dunder Mifflin. Talk to Michael whenever you need a friend slash coworker slash lover to talk to, in no particular order. Do you even need to meet SpongeBob? For an all around better day, delight in the comedy that colored so many childhoods without the ear piercing laughter. Okay, so now we're going to demo our page. So this is our website, Character Chat. And here you've got all of the characters you can talk to and a brief description of what we're trying to do. So let's demo this. So yeah, we have our description of Gordon Ramsay and I have to warn you, it's Gordon Ramsay, so I don't know what he's gonna say. It could be pretty bad, but let's try this out. Uh, let's go. Hey, good morning, chef. Oh, how are you? I'm good, thanks for asking, would you like to try my food? I don't know if you noticed, we're not going anywhere. Uh, okay, sorry. <laughs> How about you try this fish? I think Paula's menu is too compli complicated. I got a little frustrated. You know, Paula doesn't know how to organize herself. So I'm not sure who Paula is, but it sounds like there's some drama. Um, <laughs> let's try out one of the other chatbots. Yeah, does um, anyone I, in the yeah. audience have a suggestion? I wonder, what, I wonder what Groot will say. All right, let's try it out. Okay. Hey, I am Groot. What's up? I am Groot. How are you? Plot twist. He's Groot. I so, asked Groot. I don't know. Yeah, okay. So then here's our About Us page. So here's our team. We've got Ella, Vivian, Tyler, Melissa, myself, and Ayan, and of course, Tenny, our instructor. And you've got to give a shout out to Michael because we wouldn't be here without him. Um, so 
Now we're going to talk a bit about how this all works. All right, so for Groot and the Mime, they are rule-based chatbots. Uh, they're a little more simple, so you can kind of break down the way they talk into like rules. However, for the characters, they're a little more complex, uh, so we create models for them. So the model that we used was the Diallo GPT model. Yeah, so it was made by Microsoft and it was built off the GP2 model. And it was trained off of Reddit conversations in order to engage in more natural conversations. So it makes use of our current neural network where the previous output goes back into the, the network to be able to consider the context. Uh, so for our data, we went and we found transcripts of series online. And so we took those and we put it in a form that we could actually put into the computer. And then we made sure we wanted to conserve all of the lines. So because like the context is like a like an important feature. And then once we had the data, we took it and we were able to train the Diallo GPT model to talk like a specific character. Our model has some limitations. Sometimes specific lines return a direct line from the script. That doesn't really make sense. And the model sometimes appears to be talking to themselves, which might be due to them picking up lines from other characters in the script. But while our model has the limitation, it's still really fun to talk to. Thanks, everybody. That's that's character chat. That was awesome. I love that. I think that's the I think that might be the chat's favorite 